there's an increased interest in the use of K-taping by many practitioners who specialise in treating neurological-based conditions. Researchers have studied the use of kinesiology taping for various neurological conditions, including multiple sclerosis and cerebral palsy. Constantino et al. studied the effect of neuromuscular taping versus sham therapy with 40 MS patients. Divided into two groups, each one received five treatments with five days interval. One group received the neuromuscular taping, whereas the other group received a non-stretch tape, which was considered as sham therapy. The K-tape, which was applied over the quadriceps, was well tolerated by participants and taping was found to be better than that of the sham treatment. And this was based on a walk test and a peak talk test. Huang et al. showed via a double-blind placebo-controlled study that the shoulder pain and disability index is better reduced with kinesiology taping compared to sham taping. And for this study, sham taping was considered as an application of tape away from the painful area. Similar positive results for taping towards hemiplegic shoulder pain were reported by Palestrini et al. So to conclude, although some studies are supporting the use of K-taping, the exact mechanisms of action are still unknown. Therefore, kinesiology tapes are used as an adjunct treatment option, along with primary treatment interventions and, of course, exercise rehabilitation. Overall, further research and development is needed and supported in this area.